2002 Miata working on stalling those fog lights and the big challenge of course is not the fog lights but getting power up to the the engine bay you should not be tapping into existing wiring you should be bringing power up and using relays but that's not the point of this video the point of this video is how did I get power up to the engine bay it's a quick video I'm sure there's a thousand of these on the internet but this is how I did it all right, I'm on the driver's side door, and this is actually where I started. I did not start in the trunk, like you would think. I started here. You pull up the sill. This is a main wiring harness, so this is a good thing to be following. There's my red wire. And uh, if you take the seatbelt cover off, uh, you'll see some wires that pass through. You fish a wire through there, and it ends up in the back trunk area. Now that you've got your wire that passed through there, you could easily grab it with your hand and just bring it along the back. I took out all these, uh, you know, bolt, whatever the hell these things are. There's this metal plate that protects the fuel uh, line. Fall that around, blah, 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 went underneath. Fall it around and I'm over to the battery safely. Of course, you must use a fuse circuit here do not connect this directly and run that whole line and put the fuse up front you got to put the fuse back here so if it blows this wire uh won't catch on fire or whatever because whatever's causing the drain up front anyway that's important okay so got all that I'm move forward and pushed up went up in there and that's where of course it got difficult so let me show you something real quick. In the engine compartment, this is the uh, cylinder, master cylinder for the clutch. Anyway, there's the main wiring harness, and there's a uh, pass-through grommet. And what I did is from the other side, I used a hanger, tied the wire to it, and pushed through. You know, that kind of thing. Let me just show you what it looks like from inside there. So there's the red wire, and it was basically impossible to do with your eye. So all I did is I followed this this line right here. This is the hood. This is the hood um, latch line that goes up and goes through that harness. And what I did is I just used my hanger and I I pushed through from this side. And it punched a little hole in the grommet up there, which uh, I knew I was in the right place anyway, but that's it. That's the only way I could figure out how to do it. I didn't want to take out all this interior floor paneling in there. So I did it blind. I was gentle, so I didn't rip up any wiring. And it came out okay. Let's go look again. So there it is again. The hanger just pushed through the grommet. And then I uh, pulled my wire through. Now I have 12 volts up here. I used a big heavy wire so I can actually tap more things into it if I want to. And that's how I got power into the engine bay. From there, you do whatever you got to do. Good luck. Just to clarify something I said about putting the fuse down here. So you're going to put a master fuse down here. And this, this is a heavy, heavy gauge wire. I may use additional items up front off this harness. So down here, I'll probably have a 30 amp fuse, and uh, that's going to protect in case this wire shorts out somewhere along the chassis, or it overloads the wire. We have too much on the circuit, it blows down here, we're good to go, no car fire. Up front, for your headlights, or for these fog lights I'm putting in, uh, they'll be fused separately. They're going to have their own um, 15 amp fuse. So if there's something with those, it blows that fuse, and then if there's something with the main line, or we overdraw the current, we blow the fuse down here. So that's how that works.